So, you guys seen our last video when I said Rocket Dragon Link is one of the best Master Duels deck hands down. This time, it got even more support to make it even more dangerous. We're going to be watching Spoof pilot Rocket Dragon Link to perfection. He's going to start off by normal summoning Black Metal Dragon and getting Dimensional Shifter. Oh, thank you for the Never Punish because that would pass our turn. Now, the Rocket Dragon Link strategy is Dragon Link. It just wants to be able to Synchro Summon and Link Summon into some of the best cards. It has so many lines of play and so many great combos. It's actually a pretty good deck for the one of Festival. We'll call by the grave the Dimensional Shifter. And he'll maxi us. Alright. Alright. Crazy. That's crazy. I, I ain't even I didn't even want to say nothing. We'll set a card phase down and then pass our turn. Us having a maxi and an infinite impermanence, I feel pretty comfortable with that too. He's gonna start off with an alpha master of beast and then a fairy tale Luna. What is he playing? Crin Maju? Curious. And then he's gonna use Luna to add another fairy tale Luna to his hand. He'll then activate this Grin Maju. He's gonna activate Danger Bigfoot, and we're gonna chain Max C to this. This is actually fair. Because we could get a uh We're playing the danger game too. We're playing the danger game too. Because if he doesn't hit the Bigfoot, he could just destroy an attack and pass his turn. So we're kind of hoping that he does get the special summon Bigfoot here. Oh my god. Never punished. All he has to do is destroy the Black Metal Dragon, attack, and pass. Like, he is so in the free right now. He destroys the Black Metal, will trigger its effect to be able to get Red Eyes Darkness Metal. And then he'll enter Battle Phase. Our worst fears are being realized here, guys. Oh, no. We're going to need a card to get us right out of this slump. We're going to draw Chaos Space. Oh, my God. That's good. Using Infinite Impermanence on the Fairy Tale Luna. Why did we do that? Couldn't we have just went along our combo and then impermed the Fairy Tale Luna if he decided to use the effect on the card? I think it's normally best to wait until your opponent activates cards. Maybe they forget it and you get to save the imperm. But more importantly, it doesn't get rid of itself if I can remember correctly. You target one face-up monster your controls and one card. Nah. Nah. I mean, especially a, a lot of times we could just send a card from the deck to the graveyard that would help us. I, I think that's a good idea. We're going to activate Chaos Space, discarding the Red Eyes Darkness Metal. This is at multiple. So if we did play multiple copies, we could have just played around it. But okay. We'll then activate. I understand it's a quick effect. You got to understand what I'm saying. We activate a monster effect or we summon a card he doesn't like. Chain Link 1 Luna, Chain Link 2 Imper. It doesn't, it doesn't send itself to the graveyard for cost or anything. But go ahead and do that. We can then use Striker Dragon and White Dragon or... We summon a monster that we have another copy of in the deck and just send it to the graveyard. We'll add Black Dragon from our deck to our hand and a Boot Sector launch. Only time will tell if he actually plays two White Dragons. I'm not 100% sure. He's then going to go ahead and use Chaos Space to put the White Dragon back into his deck. So it looks like we won't. We might not find out. <laughs> and then he'll use Black Dragon and Striker Dragon for a Link Summon into Dragoon and Knight Romulus. From here, Romulus and Black Dragon will both activate their effects. Resolving Black will get White. Romulus will get our Dragon Ravine. And we're in a pretty good spot here. Activating the Dragon's Ravine will use this effect to be able to send White from our decks to the graveyard. Wait, hold on. What is this card? Yo. Double Disruptor Dragon. You can tribute this card. Then target two rocket monsters in your graveyard with different names. Special summon them in defense position. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one rapid trigger or heavy interlock from your deck to your hand. Sheesh. Gotta see it. We'll then go quick launch into our rocket recharger. And then link it off into a striker dragon. Huh? Why? Am I missing something? He's going to go ahead and appear with us. So... If we made the Heretic Seal instead of doing all that sexy flexy shit, we would have been able to special summon a dragon from the deck. We would have been able to special summon a dragon monster from the deck. 
We we is pissy. I, 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 oh well, well, he's gonna Nibiru us, which means he wasted his Alpha Master of the Beast. So, you know, pretty good. We're not punished here. Then we're gonna activate Quick Launch to be able to spell summon Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer will use the effect to destroy the field spell. We know that he plays Luna, right? He has Luna in hand. I think we get rid of this. And then we keep the field spell to come back in the game. Let me know what you guys would have done. We'll then link off the Rocket Synchron. Okay. Okay, that makes sense because we, we still have that combo. We'll activate Striker Dragon here. We'll destroy itself to be able to add from our graveyard to our hand Rocket Recharger. And now Rocket Recharger will activate its effect to special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Oh no. We going in, guys. Double Disruptor Dragon will summon two Rocket Monsters from the graveyard. We'll bring out Rocket Recharger and the Rocket Synchron. Then we're going to go ahead and Synchro Summon into Chaotic Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. Yo, this deck got some new tricks up its sleeve. Chaotic Ruler, Reveal Nocto, Reveal Tiding, Reveal Gamma, Reveal Space, Reveal Driver, at the Driver, at the Driver. He ain't OG. We'll then go ahead and Synchro Summon into a Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. And then we can use the effect of our Chaotic Ruler, Chain Nocto, and make a Link 2. Nah, we can make IP. We can make IP and draw a card. I'm liking this. Or we can just summon Knock Division to our side of the build flat out. Okay, either way works. We'll banish a light in the dark to be able to summon Ruler back to our side of the field. This is actually a really good situation. What he should do, actually, to be so honest. You use Hot Red Dragon Archfiend to attack into the Nibiru. That allows you to special summon your... Wait, hold on. It has to be in defense. Okay. Well, that allows you to special summon your rocket, the level one rocket. We didn't, yeah, you special summon the rocket synchron here, right? And then you attack directly with 3000. Then you use these two for Borlo Savage Dragon. So really, really good spot. Really, really good spot. We'll then go into battle phase, attack with the hot red. Using hot red's effect to be able to special summon the rocket synchron. It looks like he knows the combo line. Attacking with the chaotic ruler. Then Synchro Summoning, he knows the combo line. Yo! A lot of Master Duel players are small brain, and he put it in defense. He put it in defense. Yo! How to spot a TCG player, guys. A good TCG player. He'll then activate his double disruptor here. He'll get rapid trigger from his deck to his hand. What the hell does this do? Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by destroying fusion materials listed on it on your field. But it can only attack monster spell summon from the extra deck. Also, it's unaffected by activated effects from any other special summon monsters from the extra deck. You can only activate one rapid trigger once per turn. Okay. Okay. So Chaotic Ruler and the Primal Being token will be used for a link to IP. Huh. I don't know what he's doing with the IP. He doesn't have any cards to discard from his hand. He doesn't play Appaloosa. Why the IP? I don't. I think IP was the bad move, but we'll have to find out. I don't think IP was the move. I don't. We will make the IP Masquerina and then pass our turn, though. He'll normal summon Fairy Tail Luna. We. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't have any cards. We literally don't have any cards of these extra in the extra deck. So we got to negate it with the hot red. Yep. He'll chain the effect, and we have to negate with the Borlo. He'll use the Gizmek. Yo! This man goes around. He's playing Grin Maju. There's no doubt in my mind he's not. He's playing Grin Maju. We'll chain Rapid Trigger. Okay, guys, I'm so curious to see what this is going to do. Rapid Trigger will allow us to Fusion Summon. We'll Fusion Summon with our two monsters. We will go ahead and make Borlode Furious Dragon. 
So what was the point? If we were going to fuse these two monsters off, what was the point of making IB? We could add a 3,000 attack Chaotic Ruler and a 7,700 attack Nibiru. And he can't crack that. All right. You can target one monster. You, one monster you control and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Dark Link monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Cool. Cool. I mean, this card would have definitely came up because we could have destroyed the Chaotic Ruler and the Nibiru token, but I'm not saying anything. We'll then use Borlo Furious to destroy the IP, and he has to... Inter Dog. Dog. This is a quick effect. This is a quick effect. Why did we destroy it? Well, Gizmic wasn't doing nothing. Gizmic's effects are hard once per turn. No. No. The ban is three phase down. You can only use one effect once. No. We just played ourselves. Unfortunate. It happens. We'll go ahead and draw for turn. He'll use snow to get rid of our furious. Furious will chain to destroy itself. We didn't even need to do that. We didn't even need to do that. We didn't need to do that at all. We did, we could have kept it on the field and then did what we wanted, but we did it in the inverse. But fortunate for us, we'll activate Chaos Space here. We'll return a Striker Dragon to our deck to draw Nibiru. And then our Borlo Furious Dragon will be able to add another strike or summon a Striker Dragon to our field. We'll then summon Starly Safer and immediately use it for a Link Summon into another Striker Dragon. And then Striker Dragon's effect will destroy Striker Dragon to add Rocky Region. Okay. All right. We'll then destroy... We're not even destroying our Rocky Recharger. Okay, cool. So we're going to attack with Striker Dragon into a Gizmec Serpent. And that's the end of our turn. Um... I don't think there was anything we could have done different. I'm not sure. We're, we're in a rock and a hard place. Both of us are playing with nothing, so... Gonna be interesting. He switches Orochi to attack. Banishes three for the striker. He 100% has Grin Maju. We will activate Rocket Recharger to bring back Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Summoning it in defense. And he'll use the Danger... Bigfoot. God! That sucks. That sucks. Danger Bigfoot will destroy our hot red. Unlucky. Unlucky. Yo. It is at the bottom of the fourth, guys. The bottom of the ninth, if you guys play basketball. Bottom or baseball. Basket bottom of the fourth quarter. We need a huge top deck. We need something to get us back into this game. Going into turn seven. We are going to draw a Chaos Space. Oh my god, thank you so much. Chaos Space will get rid of the Nibiru to Alice at Chaos Dragon Levineer. And then we'll activate Chaos Space to be able to return to our decks the White Dragon Wyver Buster. We'll draw an Absorouter Dragon. We are never punished! Using it to special summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Red Eyes Darkness Metal to special summon Hot Red. Going into our battle phase, we'll attack over the Gizmec Orochi. Using Hot Red Dragon to be able to special summon the Rocket Tracer. In main phase two, we will special summon the Absa Router Dragon. Using the Router and the Levianir for a Link Summon into our Heretic Seal. And then Absa Router will be able to add a Rocket Trace Charger. This would have been a perfect time to make IP. This would have been the perfect time. Because IP right here would have allowed us to be able to special summon Chamber with our Heretic Seal. We would have been able to search another Titan have a follow-up then we would have been able to discard it for the uh uh the nightmare unicorn and get rid of another card that would have been perfect that would have been perfect but we still have other options here we'll go ahead and pass our turn and it'll use orochi to summon itself i swear if he draws a grid maju we won't cry because we have the hot red ain't that right muddy ain't that right buddy he's gonna attempt to use the orochi to get rid of the seal we'll use hot red to negate it I wouldn't do that because this was our only way to stop our opponent's Grin Maju. So if he just summons Grin Maju, we win the game. 
he wins the game. We have nothing to stop. No, I'm sorry. I'm tripping. Big dummy. We still have Heavenly Sphere. So never mind. We do that. We do that. That was big dummy. Big dummy right there. He then switches it to attack. Attempts to attack. We use the seal. Now we eliminate the threat of losing to Grid Maju here. And then seal special summons chamber. Chamber allows us to get tidings. I think we have this game in the bag. Six cards left in deck. He's going to use Danger Thunderbird, trying to get into what he needs. He'll summon the Thunderbird. That is a Grid Maju, guys. I'm like, I'm like so scarred from players setting Grid Majus because it's like so smart. That is a Grid Maju, guys. Don't attack into that. You're going to lose. That's a Grid Maju. It's a Grid Maju. He'll then go ahead and smash some of the Heretic Seal and quits. Okay, good. Good, good. Because I was, I was going to have a heart attack. Yo, I was going to have a heart attack. I was going to have a heart attack. Yo, if we attacked into that, like PTSD sets in. It's like, is that a Grid? Is that a Grid? Yo, we got to find a way out this. We got to make Nightmare Unicorn. Like, we, we cannot attack into that face down card. But fortunately, never punished definitely was an exciting game to see as move does show us that the new rocket cards definitely add a little bit of a twist to the deck thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the game if you did go ahead and check out these extra master duel games these other content so i'll catch you on the next one